Okay, so this is where we're going today. We're going to go ahead and create a knight head, and this one is different from all the other chess pieces because this guy is not symmetrical around the z-axis. In other words, I can't extrude or spin it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a box, and then I'm going to take an image of the front view and the side view, and I'm going to just shrink wrap the uh, box, uh, vertices of the box, around this guy's head. And this is what, turned, what we'll turn out with. This is a... Um, Met caps on so you can see how it will be shaded, but that's what we're doing. I'll go ahead and turn Met caps off, and so that's uh, where we're going. So I'll go ahead and come over to a new layer. Now I've already got this in place. This is the same image, so I'll go ahead and undo this. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy and get rid of this guy. And we have to go back into our end panel again to hit the end panel. I'm going to hit N. So the end tab comes out and I go into background images, I check that and then I can add an image. And I'm going to add the same image twice. So I just come down here to open and I go into my chess images and I've got this guy and I'm going to add him twice, the same image, two times. Uh, I added another image so I've got my first picture here, the same image I'm going to add over here and click on that and so now I've got this image twice. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to have, instead of all views, I want to change this to uh, front view. And then I'm going to change this guy down below to right view. And the reason I'm doing that is that when I hit the 1, I'm going to have a front view. Notice I don't see the green axis. That's looking white, right down the Y axis. And when I hit 3, I see the green axis. I don't see the red. So I'm looking right down the X axis. And so now I'm going to move these guys in position. When I'm in the front view, it says front up here, I'm going to hit the 1. And so now I'm looking right down the Y axis. And I'm going to move the front view right lining up with that blue vertical axis or the Z axis. And now I'll do the same thing down here. Go ahead and shrink that. I'm not going to move the Y value at all. But uh, if I go over here and press the 3, I'm going to move the side view over to here. And so that's just setting up. I hit 1, I'm looking right down um, at the y-axis, I'm looking at the front view, and if I hit 3, I'm moving over to the side view. Okay, good. Uh, I've got my 3D cursor, Shift-S, I saw already at the center, but make sure it is at the center, and then I add a cube, and I'm going to hit Z to get transparent. I think I'll start with the front view. I just need to move this up and scale it on the z-axis. So you want to kind of just don't worry about the ears. We're not going to do the ears. This box is going to just shrink wrap around the basic shape of the head. The ears and eyes, the nostrils and the mouth, all of those things we're going to extrude later. Now let's go back and hit 3 to go into the side view. And I'm going to scale this guy on that axis. It's really important that the Y values of these two images are the same so that the top of the head, you can see the box is just touching the top of the head here. And if I come back to the 1, look in the front, this is just touching the top of the head here. Okay, now I'm going to tab into edit mode and I want to hit W to subdivide and I'm going to add to this uh, seven cuts. And so seven cuts will give me a line right down the middle and my goal is to get all of these vertices to just line up perfectly with the edges from the side and then again from over here. All right, so to do this, to make my life much more simpler, I get A to deselect all and then I'm going to hit B to box select and these guys, I'm going to hit delete, delete all of my vertices, or half of my vertices. And the reason is, is I want to add a mirror modifier. So I hit the wrench, go to add modifier, go to mirror modifier. And now I just really have to worry about doing one side. And it will not only save me half the work, but it will also um, make sure both sides are exactly the same. It's really important to hit clipping. That means that as I pull these guys in the middle, they're not going to pull apart. And if you want to click this little triangle guy up here, you can see all the vertices. So now my um, vertices are all set up. At this point, I am going to hit box select. Actually, if I just click on one vertex and move it, notice I've only got one vertex selected, and you don't want that. Instead, you're going to hit box select. And now with box select, I have that whole row selected. And so all I have to do is move things around. So I think I'll box select these two guys. And I'm going to rotate this on the Y axis. Now I actually had proportional editing turned on. So I want to turn that off. Um, I'm going to hit uh, rotate on the Y axis. And then I'm just going to use these handles to slide them down. OK. 
Okay, good. So A to deselect, B to box select. It's really important that you deselect every time, otherwise you'll be moving both rows of vertices. Okay, A to deselect, B to box select. I'm going to take these guys, move them out. I might want to rotate that a little bit on the y-axis. And then down here, I'm going to take B to box select and move these guys in. So that's pretty much, let's see, these guys. Um, I think I'll just scale that on the x-axis. That's the red axis. Maybe move it over a bit. And so that's done uh, looking at the front, or at least that's the first part. So now I can see I've really only done just that front shape. Now the harder part is going to be to do this part. And so I will deselect everything. And what I'm going to do is grab this guy. The hardest part is getting this underneath the chin part. So I'm going to get this row right here, and I'm going to shrink it way down on the x-axis. So B to box select, grab that guy. I'm going to um, scale him just on the x-axis. I'm sorry, scale him just on the y-axis. And then move him into place. And so that should be roughly where the neck is. Maybe that was too much. Scale on the Y, I'll scale it back out a little bit. Okay? And so this bottom part will be pretty easy. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Box select the next row, kind of move it over and scale it on the Y axis. Y axis is the green axis. Now I can put a loop cut in here later if I want that extra shape, but right now I'm just doing a, an approximation. Box cut here. I'm going to go ahead and move him over. Scale him down on the x axis or the y axis again. Scale on the y axis and move him into place. And you can see this guy is getting generally the shape that I'm looking for. So I'm going to scale this on the y axis. and move him over and then finally the last one box select these guys scale on the y-axis and move them into place so that was the bottom part that was pretty easy actually and so now if I look at this guy let's turn off Z for a second I'm getting the general shape of that bottom part this top part is going to be quite a bit more difficult in my opinion but let's go back and hit three and I'm going to start moving these guys around so that they're going to match this whole shape here so I think I will take uh, this guy and just slide him down a bit. And then I'll box all of these guys. Mm, yeah, that looks right. I'm going to rotate these guys. Actually, I'm going to rotate just up to here. Rotate on the y-axis. Oops, didn't want to do that. Rotate on the x-axis and slide him down. Rotate on the x-axis. So that's getting kind of the basic shape of where I want that to be. And now I'm going to go ahead and box select uh, maybe these guys. And I'm going to rotate that on the x-axis again. And I just push these guys down into position wherever I want them to be. Okay. So that's getting closer. I think now I can uh, maybe come in here and get the nose a little bit better. This guy needs to be rotated on the x-axis back. I'll pull them into place. And then these guys, I think I'll circle select by hitting C. I just want these guys now. Um, rotate on the x-axis. Yeah, that looks OK. Uh, now these guys can really be moved around, I think, quite a bit. I'm going to take this guy, move him way forward, and then down a bit. Uh, these guys, I'm going to take them, rotate them, move them over here. And these guys, I'm going to rotate on the x-axis and just slide them into position using those little handles. So that's pretty good, I think. I can move these guys around a bit, kind of make these lines a little bit more evenly spaced. And uh, you can tweak that however you want. Okay. So that's a pretty good start. So now if I look at it in solid view, See, this mouth area is way, way, way too wide. Um, I wanted a line down here. Maybe I can put a loop cut in down here. Move that out. I'm going to use that for the chin later. And uh, Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at them again from the front. I can see that the nose really gets pushed in here. So I need to grab some of these guys. And I think this might be a good place to use uh, proportional editing. And so I'm going to take this guy, and if I 
get this gray button and I go to enable proportional editing and I say, let's say grab on the X, that uh, circle tells me how much of the, it's going to grab all the vertices in that circle and move them proportionally to the two that I'm moving. Okay, I'm going to grab these two guys over here. Maybe I should just change to edge select, move these guys in, uh, move these guys in. And so you're just kind of pushing the whole nose in and making this look better. Okay, uh, I think I'll turn off my proportional editing because I've got to move these guys in quite a bit more. Um, I could uh, take a whole chunk here and just take this and scale it on the x-axis. Push those guys in a bit. And so now, if I look down, I can see that I'm getting a shape that's more consistent with the shape of the horse. Looks like I need to come in along this jawline quite a bit more than I have. So to do that, I can just grab these guys and move them in. Uh, key thing is you don't want to cross any of the lines. So let's uh, rotate him on the y-axis, push him in, maybe grab the next one, and push him in. And so that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like with the subsurf modifier on it. So I'm going to add another modifier, go down to subsurf. And I can see that this thing will begin to uh, change, and it'll start to have the shape I want. Now, I'm going to want the jaw to come out more, and I want to push the head back and make some other changes, but I think that's a pretty good start. Uh, proportional editing, at this point, I'm going to uh, go ahead and push this guy in, and uh, maybe I want to bring this jaw out a little bit, push this guy in a little bit. Maybe I want to take this guy, bring him out, and uh, push these guys in. Okay, now I'm going to start extruding the different parts. So if I click on face select, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a bunch of these. And uh, it might be good if I did this with circle select. Nope. Let's see. Shift circle select deselects the things if you selected too much. And um, I think I'll come down here and here, and I'm going to extrude this, and this is going to be the main. So I just simply hit extrude, maybe I'll extrude on the Z, and do that, and then bring it back this way, whoops, not with proportional editing on. Okay, so let's take <coughs> these guys, move them down and out, these guys, scale on the Z axis, rotate on the X, and pull them out. Let's see, pull these guys out. Um, yeah, that might be too much, but for right now, I think that's fine. Uh, I can trim it down later if I want. So rotate, whoops, not scale, rotate on the X, uh, scale on the Z, and bring him up. Okay, I think that's a good start. Okay, let's look back at the original picture and look at the ears. The ears look like they're coming out right up in here. So I'm going to take these two guys and I'm going to extrude the ear. So if I hit E, that's the local Z. I want to hit Z one more time and then again and do it straight up. And I'm going to scale this guy on the y-axis, the little pointier ears, and I'll probably scale him a little bit more on the x-axis. And so that's the start of the ear. If I grab this guy, I'm just going to hit E again to extrude and just immediately scale. And so now I can hit extrude again and uh, move him in on the X axis like so. Okay, so that's a start. If I want more shape of the ear, I can uh, put a loop cut in here and I can, for instance, uh, come back here and I can start dragging some vertices out and change the shape a little bit. And then finally, I'm going to grab the whole ear and sort of point it outward. So let's go back here. I'm going to box select the whole ear. And I want just the ear. So I've got an extra vertex there. I can shift select that. Uh, maybe I want to get this guy. OK. So now I'm just going to rotate it on the z-axis. So it rotates so it's facing forward a little bit. I'm going to scale the whole thing down. OK, let's see what that looks like. I think that's fine. Okay, now the eye. Let's see where the eye is. I can look back at my reference picture 
and uh, I can see the eye is right in this area. So let's uh, see the eye is going to be in these two. So I think what I'll do here is um, I can subdivide this and give it a little bit more shape. Um, these guys, I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Out, scale this guy down a little bit. So this whole block right here is what I'm going to use to make my eye. So I'm going to circle select all of this and I'm going to simply say E and then immediately S to shrink it down and then I'm going to say E and X to push it in and that looks fine. If I want to have eyebrows I can take these guys these guys and simply extrude them out. Scale it down a little bit and um, push it forward a little bit this way. Okay, so there I have a basic shape for an eye. The mouth is going to be over here, so let's put a nostril, let's say right here. I'm going to simply extrude and scale way down, extrude, push in on the X, back this way a little bit. And again, if I want to have uh, a little bit of shape on the nostril, I can extrude that out a little bit. Um, okay, hang on. Okay, a couple of final little touches here. I'm going to um, put the mouth in. And I think I'll just uh, select some of these guys in here. So deselect everything. Circle select these guys. Whoops. Don't want those two, so I'll shift select those guys. And now escape to get out of that, and I'm simply going to say E to extrude, scale it in a little bit, E, and then Y. So there's going to be the mouth, and these guys down here, uh, deselect everything, circle select these guys, and I'm just going to give them a bit of a chin, so that's going to be extruded out. And now maybe these guys will all come forward, deselect everything, circle select, and maybe this guy's going to come out a little bit. So E to extrude, and now the nose can come way out. I think I'll do proportional editing here. I want this guy to come out and have kind of a bulbous nose. Um, extrude out. Nope, didn't work. Let's try um, circle selecting these guys. Uh, shift select that guy. Come on. Shift select that guy, and that guy, and that guy. Yeah, let's see if I can just extrude this out. Scale that down. Whoops. Get rid of proportional editing and scale that guy down. Get rid of proportional editing and scale this guy down. And let's see if that does it. Okay. All right. Um, not happy with it completely, but uh, let's just go ahead and finish this guy up. I'm going to go ahead and put a loop cut in here. I'm going to put a loop cut in here. And um, yeah, I'll go ahead and just leave it right there. All right, so the uh, last thing I want to do is uh, take this whole thing, shrink him way down. So I think I'll put on uh, smooth shading. I'll put my met caps back on. And uh, it needs a base, so I have a base someplace. Yeah, I'm going to use this guy's base. So let's go in and take a look and see what's going on with this guy. It looks like he may have some doubles because he has a line. So remove all doubles. Yeah, I moved three vertices. I think I'll go over here and I'll you, recalculate the normals. And then I'm going to get rid of everything except for the top. So let's go ahead in here and say uh, box select everything to there, delete it, and now I'll take this guy, and uh, object mode, I can go ahead and move him to the same layer where my knight is, um, not that layer, oh there he is, okay good. So now all I need to do is take this guy and move him onto this guy, so I think what I'll do is I'll say shift S, uh, cursor to center, shift S, uh, selection to cursor, shift S, selection to cursor and now I'll just take this guy and move him up and decide where I want him and that looks like what this knight is going to be so there's my knight and that's it for today bye bye